Greetings to the Consortium of Doctors and Dr. Bird. My name is Roderick Conley. I'm a rising senior at St. Andrews on the Marsh. And today I'll be discussing how the pandemic affected my education. So one of the first ways the pandemic affected my education was through my sleep schedule. Typically, I will be up at six, on a typical day I will be up at 6.45 and get ready and be out the door by 7.15 to be to school on time. But once we went online, I was waking up 10 minutes before school start. School started at 7.50, spending like five minutes getting ready and be sitting in front of the camera at 7.55. This was not a good routine for me because I would never be I would never be fully awake and fully engaged in the class. So um, I would never get I would never be paying all the attention or getting all the notes. And since I wasn't be getting all the notes, I had to rely on outside sources like YouTube and Quizlet to catch up on the stuff that I didn't understand or missed that day. And sometimes the Wi-Fi wasn't working, so I, I couldn't be I wasn't caught up for the next day because I couldn't I couldn't research the topic that we were uh, while we went back home on the first day it was my birthday and I was kind of sad that day friends had to wear a face mask so when people told me happy birthday or smiled at me I couldn't see their smiles I couldn't hug some of my friends I see some of my loved ones for the restrictions of the CDC guidelines. And six feet also, because it affected two of my classes, science and history. Science, we couldn't do none of our partner, our experiments, any experiments at all, experiments. And history, we couldn't go to see historical sites, or museums, or watch historical movies historical based movies. I want to be a writer, but I can't be a successful writer without knowing the history of our world and where it's been through. School was rough, but I'm glad I made it. I found at home I had a lot of distractions. The, part of the positive aspects of quarantine was I was able to take additional classes my school did not offer. I took, a, I took a foreign language class and a STEM course. During my, during my class, I learned a lot about the human body. One of my career goals is to become a nurse practitioner. As you can see behind me, I'm behind a sign that says, Go Dogs! I'm actually at the University of Georgia attending a medical camp, which is one of my interests that peaked during, when, during the pandemic. In addition, my parents had to work from home, so I spent a lot of time with family and friends. By doing so, I was also learning how to cook, and I, I was able to travel while learning. And the last way that the pandemic affected my education was through sports. It shut down my baseball season, my freshman, my freshman baseball season at Calgary, and it intruded into my sophomore season for basketball at Calgary. Typically, sports for me are like the decompressing zone. It's like the decompression zone um, after school because it's starting to get stressful because it was a full day experience. But you saw to wear masks. We saw all these social distancing rules, and so sports was like a way to um, cool off and just not think, just relax and be yourself. And without without the sports, it was kind of my stress started. When we had to quarantine, I remember we had to quarantine because some another kid on the on a different team caught COVID, so we had been exposed. But we had to shut down for a week, and we had to go back to quarantine in our house, and it really just a lot of built up stress from just sitting in the room behind the screen. But um, despite all that, despite all the obstacles, I overcame, and I finished my freshman year with honor roll. So. Thank you very much for allowing me, allowing me to participate in the Hydea Pendleton essay. Conference.